Hello YouTube, it is I, Banded Wendy. How are you? It is Wednesday. Ooh. I want to say the 4th of December 2013. And this is my three-week post-op video. Uh, on 11-11-13, I had a tummy tuck with muscle repair, breast lift, and breast augmentation here in Los Angeles uh, with Dr. Timothy Katzen. So it's been a really good three weeks uh, and a few days now. It's the first chance I'm getting to make a video. Um, I had my three-week follow-up appointment with Dr. Katzen on Monday, exactly at the three-week mark. Uh, my drains were removed, so I no longer have the two JP drains. But I did find out this cool gadget that I showed you before that went around the neck and it could attach the two drains to. Uh, Dr. Katzen's office does sell them. Uh, they're $35. One of his patients came up with the idea. It's a lanyard strap, and it actually has this nifty pull-apart piece, which makes it nice when you're dealing with the drains. So if you want one of those, Dr. Katzen's office. I'll put the information below. Um, I also, so no drains, got the drains removed. Yay. Uh, I was cleared that I could have sex. I was cleared that I can drink alcohol. Um, he gave me the okay. So I had been wearing my Embrace bra, which I know some of you are ordering, and that is great. Um, and I had been wearing the 36 size, and I had both a 34 and a 36. Now my, talking about the width around my bust. Now. Before uh, the surgery, I was a 34, but post-op, I was swollen, so I was a 36. So for three weeks, I wore the Embrace bra and the 36, which I love this little pillow, right? I wore that. On week three, I changed to the 34, so I shrunk, right? So if I were you, I would order two, which I did do, All right? So now I'm using the 34, but I was wearing this 24-7. He has given me clearance now to wear my Kubi, which I love Kubi, C-O-O-B-I-E. Great company, great styles of bras, very, very helpful. I learned about them from Tummy Tuck, uh, Talk, Dot, something or other. Um, but so at night, I'm shifting over to the Kubi bra, right? Um, so let's talk about what else did I get cleared for? I'm allowed to walk uh, a mile a day, uh, nothing too far or too much, um, just a little bit of walking. Um, I don't have to go back for two weeks. I have started taking more of extra strength Tylenol than anything else, but I do have um, the Valium for the muscle tightening and the muscle repair to ease things down a little bit because it's very tight. Um, and I do take a uh, Laura tab from time to time for sleeping. I'm sleeping about, uh, about two hours on one side and two hours on the other, but I am in the bed. Um, from a swelling perspective, um, one of my boobs has dropped into its position perfectly. The one that I had several cysts in and he removed the cyst is still extremely swollen and still working on its dropping. So as I mentioned before, I have exercises that I do. Um, they are, they do, there is discomfort with them because I have full sensation in my breasts, which many post op hate that, got interrupted by a phone call, so hopefully I can put these two videos together. Um, but anyway, so boobs, uh, normal, swollen, they had the cyst issue, a little bit different, not completely different, Everything's going to be fine. Um, husband, no boobs on the internet. Not going to happen. Um, but I do do my workouts, and with my breast workouts, I'm using the Arnicare. Not touching the incision. I just have the areola incisions. Um, but I do these workouts, you know, I sh already showed them to you. Uh, and this made it not hurt. Uh, so this reduces swelling and pain. Um, and I liked it so uh, and I had I took Arnica Montagna for the first seven days post-op but I'm back to taking it again every day 
three times a day to reduce swelling because that is something that I have a lot of. Most post plastics or reconstructed patients have swelling. I have so much guys, I can't put my old clothes on. I've been wearing the same clothes for three and a half years. I got the extra skin taken away, right? Um, swollen. My thighs are like Christmas trees. I swear to you. I don't know. It's crazy. Um, so boobs in progress. One's dropped. One hasn't. A little bit of pain. Doing my exercises. Doc says everything's going to be okay. Everything takes time. Be patient. Um, so that's that. And then... I'll show you my incisions. I just took my pads off, right? I'm still using my pads, my poise pads. Uh, and uh, I love this wrap. It's a wrap from Target. Check this out, right? It just So it's really nice as a post-op thing when you get uh, out of the shower uh, because I'm going to do my breast massages after I make this video. So this is what I put on. And I also took my binder off for this video as well. Um, so post-op, let's see. So, there's the front, there's the side, comes back pretty far, comes back pretty far, front, my drains were right here before, now they're gone, and then the side, and, I mean, can you see the swelling, does anybody else see the swelling, it's crazy, so like I told you last time, then I just put the pads back on, right, and pull up my underwear, um, but I'll deal with that later. So that is the incision, uh, which seems to be doing really well. So far, so good. Uh, what else? Okay, so for the swelling, <laughs> Dr. Katzen said it was okay to move into phase two of the garments. So I have my ever trusty binder, which I love, right? And I'm sleeping in my binder still. And so far I've been wearing it every day also. So I still have my binder that you've all seen before. Uh, but now I'm moving on to these, they're made by Spanx, and it's called Assets, Mid-Thigh Shaper, High Waist. Uh, I'm using this to hopefully decompress the swelling in my lower abdomen and my thighs. Um, I also bought this full compression suit. Oh yes, I did. And I'll wear the Embrace bra right underneath it but this is uh, tight stomach-wise as well as in the thighs. Uh, in order for me to be able to put back on my size 2s and my size 4s, uh, my thighs are going to have to go down. It's a serious situation for me, but patience. I'm remaining patient. Um, so, you know, you know, I put my bra on, and then I put my, still put my white tank top on, men's tank top, right? And then I'm putting my binder on. And this week, starting today, I just bought this stuff. I'm either going to wear this with my binder or this without my binder during the day. We'll see. But both of these, I'll be wearing the Embrace bra during the day. So, um, what else can I tell you? Uh, 100 grams of protein still every day. Over 100 ounces of water. I'm going to shoot for 200 today. Uh, drinking my lemon tea, which is eight ounces of water, one lemon, fresh lemon squeezed, heated up in the microwave. I drink that twice a day. Um, I do squirt a little bit of honey in there. Um, what else do I have here? I'm taking my zinc. I'm taking my vitamin C still. Uh, I'm taking my bromelain still. I'm doing shots of wheatgrass every day. I'm drinking some type of fresh pressed juice usually pineapple, lemon, ginger, uh, cucumber mix, uh, healing from the inside, I like to call it. Uh, still doing my poop cocktail when I need to, not every day because I'm not taking narcotics every day for pain management. Um, it's been really great to have uh, these thank you cards here. So I can send thank yous to people who send me flowers and cards and gifts and presents and come to visit me. Um, so I go back and I see Dr. Katzen in two weeks. So that'll be at the five week mark. Um, the interesting part for me now is it's very mental, um, because of the swelling and of my size, because I've been used to being so small for so long. 
Um, I do enjoy seeing my breast. They look exactly the same right now when you look at them, and they look exactly the same in a bra and when I'm closed. Um, so that's, you know, one's just more swollen than the other, really. Um, but I haven't got to get dressed yet. I thought getting the drains out I would, but because of my swelling, I can't. Uh, so that's, that's a mental piece. And then because I'm not, you know, I, I slept the first two weeks, basically, hopped up on pain pills 24-7. Um, and so to not be taking pain pills 24-7 and to feel good, um, it's challenging for me to sit and rest, which I've heard that was an issue for patients in the past. Um, so I'm trying to do it. And today's going to be one of those days where I just rest. Um, but otherwise... I have a really pretty cool freaking looking stomach, so I'm going to try. Ooh, and I put on a bikini yesterday at, at Target just because, and it was at the end of the day, and I was super swollen, but I mean, you guys know I've been wearing bikinis for years with, dang it, third time. Anyway, you know I've been wearing bikinis for years if you've been watching my journey, even with my bariatric belly. I have no more bariatric belly, even when I'm swollen, as like super, super swollen, um, so I put a bikini on last night at Target just for fun. Woo woo, it's getting better. Swelling is going down. Dr. Katzen said the swelling will move downward. It is um, patience. This is like, a, you know, one to two years is where I'm gonna see optimal results. Three months possibly before this thigh swelling goes down. So I'm doing everything I can. It can't be rushed. It just is what it is. Um, but I will throw in a three week stomach shot uh, a bra, me and a bra shot somewhere, and I will throw in the bikini I tried on for fun at Target. So anyway, thank you all so much for watching. It's great having you uh, here. It's great having something fun to talk about again. Um, this is totally, for me, um, the full circle on being a weight loss surgery patient. Um, I haven't, you know, had a, I've always been confident. Um, my, my fourth athletics. time. My athletics after weight loss surgery did that for me, but uh, so now it's just like, I already liked myself. I loved myself before, like, and now that's just like up to the maximum, you know? Like I said before, there's nothing as good as, the only way I can describe this is like that day I met my goal weight. Yes, you know? Uh, ah. So anyway, I hope you're all having a great day. Any questions, let me know, I'll answer them. All my new subscribers, thank you for watching. Appreciate your time. Talk to you next time. Bye.